Hey, Rallo just got out dissing CMG. He said he's been rocking with Dolph, so he cannot mess with CMG at all. This is a direct message to Yo Gotti. We want everybody to understand at the end of the day that everybody that's on Young Dolph's side is now getting free, coming out. You've seen BEO Kenny get free after five years. He came out, paid homage to Dolph. He went to the Dolph mural, and then now Rallo doing this. Everybody thought Rallo was snitching in order for him to get out. He did the proffer agreement. Now he's out, and now he told Yo Gotti exactly what he was talking about. And Yo Gotti was the main one. He got into it with his girl, but this is something that stemmed back from what happened before Rallo got locked up. You have to understand, Yo Gotti wasn't the only one who was at the top. You got to look at one thing. Rallo, he always came around. He hung with Dolph. He hung with Gucci. He was right there with 1017, right when Big Scar got signed. I want everybody to really understand. This is a sad situation, but they need to stop saying that Rallo snitched. We know for a fact he, he the allegations need to be threw out the window because he out now. He's out regardless of what went on. The Atlanta rappers ain't fuck and messing with him. They're not messing with him at all. And I know a lot of people say that he's from Atlanta. He had a whole complex. He was the one having everybody to come battle work from him. Rallo, he wanted to keep everything a secret, but one of his homies snitched on him. And this what led him to even jumping out there to basically talk to the detectives. He cooperated with the detectives. But Rallo, he need to watch out because the people who he told on in that proper agreement is over with now. And Rallo, he, been, he was distraught when he got that phone call in saying that Dolph passed. They hit him up. They called him. His brother called him and he said, they got Dolph. They got Dolph at the cookie shop, the same one you used to pull up to. Rallo knows exactly everybody in the whole entire scene of Memphis, man. This is not his first go around. When he got out, that's where he first went to. He pulled up to Trey Trey. He pulled up to Mia J and everybody broke off the bands and everything. When he went to that cookie shop, he knew that back three four years ago when he was riding by that cookie shop he knew something was up about that place man and this is what he warned young Dolph about all the big bosses in the south Gucci man Rallo Dolph it's a reason why they all connected and actually hang with each other you've seen the pictures of Dolph and Gucci man at the football game the Dion football game and everything like that before it was hit and now you see how Rallo's coming back into the picture and he's letting everybody know the reason why he even had that complex was because Dolph was telling him how to do the real estate. Dolph has over 100 houses. He's the one that sold Rallo the whole entire complex to put people in it. And just like how Dolph was giving back to the community, paying people's rent, he was paying people's light bills, water bill, everything you could think of, buying the Jordans for the back to school drive. This is what inspired Rallo to actually do that and cover all the rent from the people who was protecting him. Rallo and Young Dolph was the only ones who did giveaways. They the only ones who gave back to their community. Rallo did too many turkey drives in Memphis. They know Rallo out there. His biggest fan base is in Memphis and Missouri. I want y'all to understand, if you from STL, I want you to drop them STLs down in the comment section. Drop them RP Dolph. Drop them Rallo Freeze down in the comment section. They know for a fact that Gucci Man is not finna rock with Rallo like that because of the snitching allegations. Too many people know that these the same people. They told Rallo, if you say this, you'll be able to get out, but your homie's gonna look at you different. Rallo wanted to get out. He has family, he has kids, and a lot of people don't pay attention to the key fact of this whole situation. Rallo. He didn't even go back to his own hood because he knew for a fact that somebody tipped him off. Somebody told them that he had the complex with the work in it. And I know a lot of people say that Rallo, he was a self-made millionaire. He's been a self-made millionaire since the beginning. But once you go to jail and you open your mouth and cooperate with the detectives, that makes you a rat. I want everybody to really look at this, man. Do y'all think that Rallo... Snitched on himself, snitched on his homies, cause dude came right back around and double back and told him like, man, Rollo, you snitched, man. I thought you was solid. Man, Big Ock, y'all know how Big Ock get down. Ock, hey, they ain't playing no games at the end of the day. They finna take care of this business, man. And anybody who talk bad about Rollo, they finna run down on A-Labs run up. Y'all know for a fact that Gucci man don't want Rollo in Atlanta, man. This is why Rollo instantly. He go back to his other hood. You know, you got to understand, Rollo was on the plane. 
millions of dollars. This is what made the feds get up on them. And I know a lot of people say Rollo could have kept it low key. How can you keep it low key when you got all these millions of dollars? And me and Jay already said that. Rollo was the main one. He was rocking with Dolph Harder than Gucci, man. Exactly. And you guys got to understand that Rollo, CMG, they had been had their differences ever since Moneybag Yo came into that show and he seen Rollo and he ducked them and literally ran into the room. Y'all could go binge watch every single one of them Dolph videos to see exactly what we talking about, because at the end of the day, Rollo told Gucci man not to sign Big Scar because he was supposed to be on um, PRE. If he's from Memphis, why isn't he signed to Dolph? Man, RIP to Big Scar. If y'all rocking with Young Dolph, put the Dolphin emojis in the comment section because one thing for sure and two things for certain is that Dolph, when he went to Aspen with Key Glock, this is where they actually talked to Rollo for the first time. He told him how to even get Key Glock in on the game without him having to actually sign to PRE. This is the reason why... Key Glock, he still did a lot of the videos and Dolph wasn't letting him drop the music. That's why Key Glock took the baseball bat and smashed Young Dolph Hellcat windshield. And when they went to that mansion in L.A., you guys got to understand, this is where he put the $12.8 million car collection that he was saving for Trey Trey. Now that Rollo is out, he's going to make sure that every little dollar that was supposed to go to Young Dolph's son is going to make it to there, man. Because they tired of actually seeing the baby mamas and the exes taken from that. You've seen it happen with Angela Simmons. You've seen it happen with Mia J and Young Dolph were not even married. And so how is it that she getting the Trey Trey and the son... Everybody that actually gave the money to the cookie shop and donated to that GoFundMe, that should have actually went to Dolph family and the whole estate, man. And I want y'all to know that the whole Dolph Museum, the car shows and everything is still going on. And that should have actually been going to the family. One thing is that the people who bought Young Dolph cars from him, Yo Gotti's uncle, that car lot, everybody that has something to do with hiding that Bentley that Money Bag Yo was in, you can't get away from the fact that now Rollo is out. He's looking for Money Bag Yo. He's sending a direct message to Yo Gotti, letting him know whose side he's really on. He's going to pull up to Memphis and actually try to show love the same way that Dolph was supposed to do. He's going to continue the turkey drives that Dolph got hit up doing. Rollo was the main one who basically told Yo Gotti, Man, I lost liking to you, your music, your team, money bag, yo, and everybody included. For one reason. He know for a fact that he didn't want to disrespect Dolph while Dolph already got sent up. We know what happened in that cookie shop. We know for a fact that Rollo was the main one who said that he wished Dolph was still here. Dolph was sending him $50, $100, $400. Y'all got to understand, when you locked up, only your homies help you. Nobody else helped it because all the females Rollo was looking at, he instantly, the ones who he was paying, them Gucci purses, them Louis purses, them Dior bags. Y'all got to understand, if you buy a Birkin for any woman, it's $35,000 a pop. Rollo couldn't get no help from them while he was locked up. And I want everybody to really look at this, man, because Rollo got right out, hopped right in the Gucci shoes. As soon as he hopped in the Gucci, Gucci shoes, y'all already know. That don't mean he rock with Gucci, man, at all. At the end of the day, Rollo is all about his fashion, man. That's why he came out all white and all black, man. And I know everybody sit back and say, yo, Gotti knew for a fact that him and Young Dolph was tight. It's cold-blooded to see that Rollo was the main one. He, he wanted to keep his distance from Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti, he set everything into play to get Rollo homie up out the way. And I want y'all to understand, the jealousy and envy has to stop, man, because Rollo was the main one who told everybody, y'all need to stick together, man. And we know for a fact that when Rollo said stick together, they started doing it. Ox shit, pox shit. Exactly. He couldn't have had all them 26 people inside them apartment buildings without everybody getting along exactly the way that they said they was going to do. This is not good. It's not going to work out for Rollo. Rollo, he the one that's actually helping them. So what y'all got to realize is that when Key Glock, he started doing the yellow cars because he's seen Rollo doing that first. The fact that once you got to understand that Key Glock is Rollo's nephew, he was looking up to Young Dolph and Rollo. When Rollo got locked up, what did they find with him? They found the yellow Lamborghini, the yellow Ferrari, the yellow Corvette. What did Key Glock move in that big car hauling truck the day after Dolph got hit up? He was moving all his yellow cars 
in there. That's why he had the yellow album and everything like that. Rallo was paving the way with Young Dolph for all the youngins. They was looking up to them. Without Dolph and them, they wouldn't have been hustling the same way. They wouldn't have been trying to think about that. Because once they seen Dolph and Rallo was making it on their own without having to go through CMG, that really freed the whole South. Everybody in the South thought everything had to go through Yo Gotti and CMG. But they didn't know that at the end of the day, Dolph and them actually beat the odds and made it out man this is why it's a sad situation when you go back and think about the demise and the downfall of young Dolph, the people that hated him it was all due to the issues with the baby mama whether it was jealousy from it whether a lot of people thought it was envious or greedy one thing for sure is that when money bag yo seen rollo in that concert and he ran they knew that it was an ongoing issue what is it that yogati and rallo got into it with that made everything the way it is and the fact that rallo was actually rocking with young dolphin gucci man that rubbed yogati the wrong way because yogati's main ops is gucci man and young Dolph. you know yogati and gucci man wouldn't do a song together this is why gucci man been trying to buy cmg out from under him to get back at him you guys got to understand, there's a lot of people that's riding for Dolph. They coming back. They're going to continue the giveaways. They're going to continue everything in the community. Because one thing for sure is that Dolph, the, he was a legend. He's the king of Memphis. And Rallo, he was considered at one point the king of Atlanta. East Atlanta, North Atlanta, everything like that. When you really look at it, people know. If you really know Atlanta and you really know Memphis, you would know that Gucci Man was bent on top in Atlanta. And he, him and Rollo was taken over. But the fact that they had the issues with CMG, he thought that when Rollo, when the feds hit Rollo, they thought Moneybag Yo and them was the one who gave the tip off to the feds because that was the only people who actually had problems with them. It was unforeseen situations that caused a lot of people to switch up and actually go to the feds and make it to where they knew Rollo was getting millions and millions of dollars. So when they got the bug in their ear, when somebody told Yo Gotti and them that, hey, Rollo doing all this and he clicking up with Dolphin Gucci, man, ain't that going to be a problem for you, Yo Gotti? Man, Yo Gotti was like, what? Call Big Juke and Govan right now because this thing is about to spin off again. They tried to, they was going to do the whole entire 100 shots. They lucky everything got stopped right in his tracks when the feds and the marshals got the tip off of straight drop and the Young Dolph suspects because they put two and two together and this is how the Rico even got opened up.